Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. And in this video, we are gonna be talking about how to emulate the Nintendo DS on Linux. As always, like I like to say, please check the description below if you're on YouTube or if you're in the article, read the article because we go over how this works. This is just a quick demonstration visually so you can see what's going on. So I have my 360 controller plugged in and I'm gonna set up a controller really quick. So I need to go to joystick controls and I would select a, and I press, okay. I th actually, I think it automatically assigns it, but I can go through and I can press A. I can go and I can set B to be B. And I can set start to be this. And, it, and it's just gonna go through, it already assigned it, but I can go through and I can set up a bunch of different controls. So the next step is to open a ROM. Now I can open a ROM by clicking the open button right here go to my home folder, go to documents, and open the NDS binary. Now, as you can see, the Nintendo logo comes up and we've got the touch screen, which I can touch with my mouse and do stuff like that. I can also use my controller to play the game. If I want to start it up, I just use the uh, controller here, click adventure because I'm playing Mario, new file, and it's gonna start up. I don't know exactly what the startup is and setup is for this whole game, so I'm not gonna bother with it. Plus we may be getting pulled down because of Nintendo's insane copyright. But uh, let's go over saving. So we can pause the ROM at any time by pressing pause. We can also click save state too, and we can save it as a DS binary. But we can also do save state like this, and that will create a save slot. We can load from that same slot at any time like so. We can record a movie if we want to, like this, and it will let you record a recording of the DS itself. You can play the movies the same way. And overall, it's just a pretty good emulator. I really enjoy it, especially if you're someone who, like me, likes Nintendo games. Maybe you want to play some old DS games on your computer. This is how it works. I don't think that there's a way to reorient the touchscreen so it's on a separate monitor. I would love to figure out how to do that, but... If you are a fan of Nintendo games and you want to play some DS, this is how you get it going under Linux. Please check our article in the description. Like I said, I am Derek and this is, hold on one second. And this is the end of the video. <laughs> I'm just gonna see if this game loads really quick. Okay, well you guys get the point. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.